Hello guys, welcome to Afom TV. My name is Afom Ohene. Um, I'm sure you are familiar with the work that we do here, um, introducing animal farming to Africans around the world, to Ghanaians, most especially. And today we are on another client's project. Um, this is also somebody who called from outside Ghana. He actually lives in the UK, uh, Mr. Berima Intim. And so he called and he wanted to set up a farm. And so here on this farm, we have a one acre farm um, where, as you can see, we have already built where the workers are going to stay. We have a workers apartment ready. We are going to build a catfish farm here. We are going to do grass cutter here. We are going to do snails, the greenhouse snails here. And today, we've come to check progress of work so far and i can tell you that i'm super excited by what's going on here because the greenhouse snail farm that we started is coming off excellently and you know you know who best to put in charge of such project i'm sure you are guessing by now so we still have our zimbabwean friend here mr chris and as you can see everywhere i have a greenhouse project going he's the man in charge of that project and this he's going to take us through we have a new design that he's built and i mean new technical details that he's going to take us through each one of them uh, we have uh, industrial workers here who are putting things together and so um i would want to welcome mr chris to, he's not a new member here he's been he's been with us from the beginning and he's still with us so mr chris welcome to fom tv good afternoon i mean it's, it's always good to have you because you know people like you because you bring so much energy and, and, and you love the project you do and there's so no much passion in it. What are we doing here? Thank you very much. Welcome to my world. I'm so excited to yes. meet Mr. Henry again. Yes. His school is following me. He's <laughs> following me wherever I go. Yeah. But um, I just want to introduce you to a new concept. You know, experience becomes the best teacher. When we move around and we do these projects, channel like this and run your water completely eliminates almost 60 or even 70 percent of the predators that worry the snails okay so we said no and this is the concept that we are doing now instead of the uv paper yeah we are now doing the block work okay so as you can see we have block work all around the greenhouse all around the greenhouse and what we are going to put in this um small um gutter that we have created is water and the water is going to prevent predators like ants lizards and um, i mean pets and insects that are going to get into the greenhouse and that's what i love about this design you know at first we used to put dirty oil and stuff like that but you know it's not environmentally friendly and it's not good hygiene and all that so as he said we are improving and in time we bring out a better design than the previous one so this is a five meter by 15 meter greenhouse yes. so it's like two of the small units right. and this is a big one as you can see so this came to the border and it is going to contain two thousand snails yes we're going to put two thousand snails here yes now we have a two thousand liter poly tank we are yes. going to put an irrigation system yes and then we are going to do the landscaping yeah our crops for the snails to okay. at this side we are building two yes we are so building two at our side. clients i mean he wants to set things right and um, hit the ground running so he's building two of these mr chris yes. let's tell our audience what are we doing by this space that we have created here what are we doing here okay 
what we have also discovered is that um, we want to go organic. Yeah. And you know, when you are doing organic, you talk and turn the nature. Yeah. If you talk to nature, nature will correct everything. Yeah. So instead of us, you know, using, you know, when we have got the snails in, yeah. we cannot use the conventional medicine that we are using Easy. in because they will, they will harm the snails. Yeah. So we've been, you know, shopping around, looking in, you know, today we have uh, the internet, yeah. we have uh, friends, you know, Africa is waking up, you know, we sure. are exchanging notes with people sure. in Nigeria, sure. Benin and stuff like that. Yeah. We've got to find out that some of the uh, vegetables that we use yeah. can actually scare away most of the predators that worry us. And okay. one particular uh, vegetable uh, that we are going to put in here, it's a lemongrass. Lemongrass. Huh? So it acts like an anti-pest. It's an anti-pest. Okay. If you put lemongrass here, mm -hmm. you are going to eliminate the ants. Mm -hmm. You are going to eliminate, eliminate uh, the, um, the bacteria as well. Okay. Yeah, because that thing will sort it out. So we want to actually put in a number okay. of trees, maybe six or eight okay. in line here. We put, you know, in every space around, space around okay. we are going to populate it. Okay. With, there's more. Someone has told me of rosemary. Yeah. I'm still looking at it now and okay. see. Okay. You know, if okay. we get any of those, okay. we will just, you know, intercrop them here. Yeah. So that yeah. they will make a combination of a smell that will drive all wow. the insects away. Wow. So yeah. essentially, uh, at this space, what we are going to do is we are going to plant natural trees crops, vegetables, that will act as anti-pests, drive away insects, drive away any predator that's going to harm the snails. And you see, like I said, this, this is a new concept, this is a new design that we are bringing up. And you guys, I mean, we've just started this whole project and it's already coming up very fine. We are going to give you an update on every step of the way. Today, our guys are digging up the um, polytank stand. The polytank stand where we are going to put the foundation for the polytank. Yes. And I mean, here you can see the ground. Yes. This place is very, very hard. Oh, as you can see, I tell you. it's a very <laughs> hard place. But then they are doing a very good job here. Mm -hmm. And then when they finish, we are going to plant our crop in here. We are going to already, as you can see, we've demarcated where we are going to put our. Um, our foot bath area. Our foot bath, yes. that's going to serve as a, a, a anti-biotic yes. uh, thing. Yeah, before you enter the yes. greenhouse. And so these are amazing designs. This is 2022. We are not joking. <laughs> so we are coming in hard. We are building greenhouses all around Ghana. We are going around uh, trying to set up Ghana on the right path by introducing agri to every part of the country and so i mean for everybody who is in ghana who is in africa who is outside africa in the diaspora who wants to come home come to ghana invest in ghana there are a lot of opportunities there are amazing stuff this place is dowenya we are still in dowenya and the kind of work that we are doing here is is, is amazing this is just the greenhouse when we start the catfish farm too it's going to be amazing we are going to enjoy so at this stage mr chris um what we there there are some things that we don't do, normally show on our channel people think that when you build a greenhouse and you put in the snails that's the end of it oh but that i know that is not the end but we've not been showing people okay. what what is the next stage after we've introduced the snails what do we do next okay what we actually do is uh, like right now uh, we are going to have like a, an induction Good. for the people that will actually look after the snares. So like training? Like training. Yeah. We are going to train them on how to look after the, the, the tent themselves. Yeah. You know, the irrigation system, what you do when your sprinklers are not sprinkling, how to clean your filters, how to just see your how the water reticulation system and the irrigation system must run fine it's like the blood if yeah. the blood is not running in your body you are not mm -hmm. feeling well yeah so we might want to make sure that once the setup is here everyone involved in here knows, knows. exactly where the nerve centers are yeah. and then that's number one number two what we then do is we don't leave you alone yeah. we'll follow you up 
constant supervision constant supervision we'll come yeah. and see supervise yeah. the the growth yeah make sure that the insects are not inside do the the organic sprays mm -hmm. we have got uh, the jma uh, jms oil we have the neem oil yeah we have the neem cake we have a lot of organic materials that will be coming here and making sure that even before we introduce our our snails inside yeah. the snail is squeaky clean good good so there's a lot more that we do that oh. we don't show yes. and today i want to talk about it later maybe in some of our induction sections we'll, we'll give you a video we'll show you what we tell our people what we teach people how to facilitate the hatching of the eggs even so that's all things that we teach the people Thanks. that we Thanks. train. Thanks. So um, I'm sure this video is going to be an inspiration to anybody who wants to enter um, the snail market in Ghana. As you know, Ghana alone cannot produce even half of the snails that we consume exactly. in this country. And it is very imperative that we encourage people to go into these kind of farming. So there's no reason why Ghana should be importing snails from other countries oh. and so now with these systems greenhouse systems that we are building we are hoping to mitigate that shortage that comes um, with the snails and so we're able to supply enough so there's more room for everybody to come in and have a part or a piece of the cake and enjoy so this is what we are going to end this video today i hope you've been encouraged i hope you've been motivated we want to thank our client mr intim berima um and hopefully um I, he, he's, he's encouraged to do more so we can show you guys more thank you very much for watching this video click on the subscribe button share this video subscribe and leave us a comment from all of us from a film tv we say bye bye, bye, -bye. See you next time. Yeah. <laughs>